A warm welcome from SJT University. I, Nitish Urmani from Faculty of Allied Health Sciences. Today, we are going to discuss about the CT generation and some common features of the scanner. Alan Kornbach first developed the mathematical formula to reconstruct the images from the X-rays in 1956. After that, Sir Godfrey Newbold Hounsfield first demonstrated the CT scanner principle through a prototype in 1971 and first human brain scan was done in 1972. The success of both scientists led them to share the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1979. Now the working principle of CT scanner. In the journal radiography or we can say the conventional radiography, we acquired 2D X-rays image by exposing the patient from one direction in which X-ray tube is mounted over the radiographic table and remains stationary during the exposure. Also, the patient is sandwiched between the X-ray tube and cassette or image plate. However, the working principle of CT is completely different from general radiography. Now, the question arises how this is different. As you can see in this animation, in CT, the X-ray tube rotates around the patient and traces a spiral or helical path to scan an entire volume of tissue or we can say region of interest. This method generates a slice or slices per 360 degree revolution of X-ray tube and is often referred to as a single slice spiral or multi-slice spiral or helical CT. The physical principle of CT is consist of three steps. Number one, data acquisition system with the help of X-ray tube and detectors. Number two, data processing with the help of different computerized technology. And last step is image display on monitor and data storage. Now let's begin the topic itself that is CT generation. We'll take up generation of scanner from old fashioned scanner to present day scanner. Till now based on technology we have 7 generation of scanners. Let's start with the beginning first generation CT scanner. As you can see in this animation first generation CT scanner is known as translate rotate translate. In this animation green one is x-ray tube. Red linear line is showing the X-ray path and lower box is detector. Now the question arises, what is translate, rotate, translate? Because in this equipment, X-ray tube first moves in translate motion, then rotate and again moves in the translate motion around the patient. Only one detector was used for imaging in this generation and this method of scanning was known as rectilinear pencil beam scanning. Pencil beam scanning geometry was introduced by Sir Godfrey Newbold Hounsfield. And this first generation was also known as EMI scanner where EMI stands for Electrical Musical Instrumentation. As you can see in this image, this generation scanner was little bit complicated in respect of patient positioning and X-ray tube rotation. And this generation had few disadvantages like it uses high radiation dose, it is time consuming, poor image reconstruction techniques and give very low anatomical details in the image. Now we come to second generation. This generation was almost similar to the first generation that is translate rotate type but the new feature of this equipment was the use of multiple detectors in a linear geometry and narrow fan beam of x-rays. Due to multiple detectors and narrow fan beam of x-rays the image quality get improved. But the other disadvantages of first generation were not rectified like high radiation dose, long scan time, poor image reconstruction technique and still low anatomical details. One more thing, there is one common disadvantage in both generation and that was loop of high tension wires due to lack of 360 degree rotation of x-ray tube in the gantry. In both first and second generation scanner, performer or technician need to manually relocate the x-ray tube to his primary location for each slice. Also, due to the loop of high tension wires, the breakdown of equipment was very frequent. That means innovation or more upgradation was required. And very soon third generation was introduced. Third generation scanner known as rotate rotate type. Now you will be wondering what is rotate rotate type. Two time rotate word is used, one for x-ray tube and second for detectors. As you can see in this animation, the x-ray tube and detectors both rotate around the patient but parallel to each other. Now again the question arises how this rotate rotate motion happens or how the x-ray tube and detectors both are rotating in the gantry around the patient.
here is the answer there is a one old famous quote necessity is the mother of innovation after the two generations of ct scanner the scientists were confident enough and they were desperately looking forward to improve the image acquisition technique through x rays as also they very well understood that this ct scanner will be beneficial in the diagnostics but there were some problems which need to be resolved what was that like free rotation of x ray tube and improvement in imaging detectors and very soon one innovation was done by scientists that was slip ring technology slip ring technology was the biggest advancement in the third generation which changes the complete era of scanner Due to slipping technology, rotate rotate motions of X-ray tube and detector is happening without any loop of high tension wires. Physics behind this slipping technology will be discussed in the instrumentation chapter. Earlier, this generation was only meant for single slice acquisition in one 360 degree rotation of X-ray tube, but nowadays it comes with multiple slice acquisition mode in one rotation of X-ray tube and detectors. Later on in this generation, 240 high quality detectors were used with wide fan beam of X-rays. More advantages of this equipment were good resolution image quality, low radiation dose in comparison with two first generation, but still radiation absorbed dose was on higher side. This was the brief content of the first three generations of the CT scanner. Today we covered about the advantages, disadvantages and some common features of the generations. In next class, we'll discuss about the rest for CT scanner generation. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. See you in next class. Thank you.